Welcome to the Spirituality Guidance Channel's podcasts. Our podcasts will feature spiritual teachers who speak on a wide variety of topics, from how to live in your spirituality in the real world to how to deal with those who have no spiritual foundation at all. We are here to serve your spiritual needs each and every day. May God bless you on your spiritual journey and fill your life with health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance everlasting. Some of my favorite moments, uh, let's kind of go back to the walking in the Spirit. Uh, Some of my favorite moments is when at the point in which either through prayer or meditation or whichever direction I go, whatever method I take, if I leave this illusion for a moment, I'm talking about just absolutely forsaking everything around me, all fear, all worry, just forsaking. Some of my favorite moments has been those moments when I actually experience a spirit. It's not just knowing that it's there. We can talk, teach, preach, minister all day long about the Spirit being in us. It doesn't matter. We have to love Spirit. We have to love being with Spirit. We have to love being in Spirit. It's difficult to do that if we have two loves going. Uh, That is to say, if I love my life in the world in some fashion, that love becomes more important to me than love than than living my spirit. And there's also the misunderstanding that I feel like that I had in the the past, in which the blessings of God have to do with temporal things. The blessings of God has to do with spiritual things. Let me say that again. The blessings of God has to do with spiritual things. And sometimes we might suffer catastrophes in this illusionary physical realm and think, oh, and and, and our first thoughts, because we thought God was supposed to bless us there, our first thoughts are, well, what happened to God's blessing? I'm, I'm cursed, I'm not blessed. Well, that curse might seem like a curse, but be a blessing. Because as a result, you find yourself driven inward. You're driven inward because of the suffering outward. And we can't say that's not a blessing to be driven inward, even if it's by some catastrophic way. We misunderstand a lot of times what the blessings are. But I'll repeat myself. If God blesses, God blesses spiritually. And it is spirit that becomes primary in your life. It is spirit that becomes your marriage. It's spirit that becomes your money. Spirit becomes your stuff. Spirit becomes everything. And everything but spirit begins to die and eventually is obliterated from your consciousness because you come to an awareness of absolute oneness and that becomes your beauty that becomes your love that becomes your only desire that's it who are you serving when you play it small absolutely no one that ain't no way to be a child of God I feel like Travis Tree Bulletproof Jen P. Charles